And then I'd like to welcome all the students, all the participants today, as well as people who've, who've come to watch uh, uh, their peers performing in front of us. And then welcome to all the family members and potential donors. Uh, upstairs in, in the dissection halls are the great teachers, are the, are the people that have donated their bodies uh, to science uh, and to education. There are many modalities out there to teach anatomy um, and we use all those modalities. However, um, uh, students being able to dissect um, a, a body is the greatest teacher that we have. I just also would like to thank the families that are here and for them for allowing your loved ones uh, to donate their bodies uh, to this institution um, and hopefully uh, through the service you will leave knowing that what they have done has been an incredibly generous sacrifice. Thank you very much. We have a wide range of textbooks and resources at our disposal but all those resources do is that they allow us to, it's a, an attempt to capture the human body. It's an attempt to, to represent what is actually happening in the human body. It is not the human body itself. So having the opportunity to actually dissect an actual human body gives us an appreciation for something that we will be doing in the future. Because in our own cadaver's death, she was able to almost embed life into each and every one of us. And I just found that very, very powerful. Uh, in, the, in the mornings we would greet him and often we would thank him for his body and for being a bit easier than other um, bodies to dissect. Uh, this year I saw and learned a lot from Uncle. Uh, I saw that what things looked like in 3D. Um, seeing, feeling and moving the anatomy around. It's really useful to see the relationship between uh, structures, their sizes, just exactly where they are. He taught me so much and I want to share some of that with you. He taught me to value friendships, he taught me to love and he taught me to express that love. He taught me to love myself and I even made a list on my phone every day to remind me. He taught me about communication and observation, to respect and to be kind and to be grateful. Johnny taught me the difference between Lavata Aina and Palmaris Longus. He taught me to live life. And lastly, he taught me to take challenges with grace. We had to honor the late Stephen Williams. Um, Next to me is my wife, Carol. We, we spent our, his twilight years trying to make him happy. And we believe we achieved that. And the leader next to Carol was his wife. And his big boss uh, is next to the leader. He was a fireman. And uh, Donald Sparks, the president today, was the chief fire officer. Um, he, he just loved to give advice, but he listened first. And he was very special in that regard. But I must say this, and this is the ultimate, he couldn't stop, stop giving. He gave of himself in every respect possible. He gave his time, his wisdom was incredible. And you know what his final act was? I find that absolutely amazing. He gave his body. Thank you. So hearing your stories today, I think was really deeply inspiring. Um, from, from my side, I think I always um, appreciate how people think about things in ways that really take them to a new level of reflection, to a new level of understanding who they are, and really a new level of thinking about how we can be health practitioners who really care. And I think this morning you've shown that to us very nicely. So I guess the, the important message for us all is that uh, whoever we are, uh, when we engage, we engage deeply and I'm so grateful to everyone for being here.